To access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. Tectonic plates. In this video, we will learn about tectonic plates. The Earth is made up of different layers. The four main layers are the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. The crust is the thin outer layer of the Earth. It's about 15 to 25 kilometers thick. The crust thickness ranges depending on whether it's beneath oceans or beneath continents. It's essentially the solid thick layer that we live on. It consists of rocks, soil, and everything else we can see on the Earth's surface. There are two types of crusts, continental and oceanic. The crust is broken into plates like a big jigsaw puzzle. These are known as tectonic plates. These tectonic plates move very slowly, only a few centimetres every year. The Earth's crust floats above the next layer, which is called the mantle. The Earth's crust only occupies less than 1% of the Earth's volume. Tectonic plates are large pieces of rock that divide the Earth's crust. These continental and oceanic crusts move constantly to reshape the Earth's landscape. The Earth's outermost layer also known as the lithosphere, is made up of the crust and the upper mantle. The plate tectonics theory states that this outermost layer is broken into large rocky plates. These tectonic plates are all different shapes and sizes, but they fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. These large rocky plates lie on top of a partially molten layer of rock, called the asthenosphere. The theory suggests that these plates move relative to each other at different rates due to the convection of the asthenosphere and lithosphere. The movement is small, about 2 to 15 centimetres per year. The theory of plate tectonics explains how the movement of these geologic plates creates major landforms such as mountain building, volcanoes and earthquakes. The theory was solidified in the 1960s. In 1912, a German scientist published the concept called continental drift. He suggested that over 200 million years ago, a supercontinent began to break into pieces and moved away from one another. He called this supercontinent Pangaea. The process of this supercontinent breaking into pieces and these pieces moving away from one another are all the different continents that we see today. Although this theory was dismissed at first, it was later accepted due to new data that supported the idea of continental drift or plate tectonics. The heat and pressure in the Earth results in convection currents in the mantle layer of the Earth. This causes the tectonic plates to move around. Tectonic plates meet each other at their plate margins. There are three types of plate margins. The type of plate margin depends on the type of movement that occurs. Constructive plate margin, also known as divergent. This is when the plates move away from each other. This results in a gap in which the magma seeps through, cools down and forms geological features such as volcanoes. Destructive plate margin. This is also known as convergent. This is when the plates move towards each other. This results in the plates smashing against each other. It can either push both upwards, which forms fold mountains, or one plate goes under and the other is pushed up. This forms deep trenches or results in earthquakes. Conservative plate margin. 
This is also known as transform. This is when two plates slide against each other, either in the same direction or different directions at different speeds. This can result in earthquakes.